So, more classic yeah. news dropping this week. Classic news, man. Classic news. Not news which is old, but yeah. news about classic systems. That are old. Uh, the but Sega yeah. Genesis has had a line of classic slash mini mm -hmm. re-releases of the system, and they've been made by a company called At Games. They're, they are a Brazilian a toy manufacturer, um, and they are objectively terrible. Ooh. They don't play. They don't run the games at full speed. They run them choppy. They the they sound terrible. Um, the last one they made was the first one with HDMI, and they also allowed you to actually, um, if you had Sega Genesis cartridges, you could put them in, and it would hmm. you could play them that way too. I think it came with eighty games, but only about fifty or sixty were Sega Genesis titles, and the rest were like just stupid flash games that no one wants to play or have hmm. any interest in. And uh, they're not good. They're they're kind of pricey. I think this one was about eighty dollars. Um, they also typically don't come with very good controllers. <clears throat> but right. uh, Sega wanted to kind of release like a definitive version to be along the lines of an NES and a Super NES classic. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people were disappointed when they announced that they were going to go again with at games. But we have some news regarding that. Oh, okay. The system is going to be delayed into 2019. And it's likely that they are not going to go with that games. They said that they have gone with it. They're going to go with a proven software producer. Mm. See what that is. Yeah, un, un, uh, unannounced at the time, but hopefully this means that they're just dropping at games they've, altogether. They've realize the error of their ways. Yes, and if they make this good, I, I will definitely pick it up. Steven's just going to be rolling in the classics, y'all. Make it rain classics. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it, by this time next year, you'll have, you'll have three more if all goes well. Yeah, and, and if Nintendo Or even more theirs. if they make another next year like later next year Who yeah knows? <laughs> i love love me some classic systems yeah. uh so this is great news um i have if if you ever are interested um look on youtube there there have been a ton of channels that have done reviews of the at games sega genesis uh systems and while i think that they've they get marginally better every time they release them there's still not a good way to play Sega Genesis titles. Um, and it's so strange that Sega's been doing this for a long time. They've been doing this much longer than the NES Classic yeah. was a thing, um, where they just license these games out to at games, and they, they've they been basically producing one almost every year for several years. A, a Genesis Classic? Why? Yeah, but they... I guess because they sell... They who buys them? They tend to change up the the games a little bit every mm. time they do it. Um, I think one year they had Street Fighter, then they didn't have Street Fighter the next year, but they had Mortal Kombat. Just hmm. those kinds of changes, and they have been getting a little bit better, but they just feel cheap. And uh, yeah, most people just. Yeah. Don't don't like them, and you can go out and buy these. But again, they're like the latest one was eighty dollars. It doesn't play them well, even though it does HDMI, just like an NES Classic. You would be throwing your money away. So, if they are going to make this one good, I can't wait. Yeah, it seems like they're they made a a good choice. Yes. Hopefully, it is a good choice indeed. 